I've worked as a professional artist for over 20 years now. Primarily, my job has been character design. And in the world of character design, there is one that stands out amongst all the others as being the best character design ever. And I'll explain why. So if you ever want to design characters, you can have a nice checklist to go through. Then at the end of this video, I'm also going to ask you to subscribe, comment, and share so that you can find your way back to my channel easier and also get some suggestions for future videos as well. I'd love to hear from you. Now, what makes a good character design? Number one is structure. Why? Because as the character designer, I'm creating the blueprints for everybody else down the line. This is how the character looks. And if you don't have your structure right, people start to turn the character, put it into different poses, things like that, and the character will not function correctly. So you have to have a very good, clear understanding of how to create some nice, solid structure in your characters. This doesn't necessarily mean three-dimensional structures, though. There's plenty of amazing 2D design characters that work beautifully, but the structure works in a slightly different way, in a two-dimensional way. The next thing that makes a good character design is the design, is the style, is the actual look of the character. Is it hard to read when you shouldn't have it hard to read? A lot of these characters, especially big scary creatures, a lot of times in these films, we only see these big scary creatures for a split second, or maybe just a part of it, which means that your designs need to be easily readable if it's supposed to be easily readable. If it's not supposed to be easily readable, then we also want to make sure that it isn't easily readable. Make sure your design fits its purpose. Now, if it's like most character designs, they need to be clear. Not just because it might be on screen for a brief second, but it could also be because there's so many other characters in this world. You have to make sure that if it's a star character, it needs to be even more clear. It needs to be even more eye-catching, especially amongst crowds. The one thing I think of as a great example, not really a character design per se, but her outfits are designed and her hair and everything else is designed. I'm talking about Beyonce. In many of the performances that we see her do, she's amongst a ton of dancers, yet she always stands out amongst the crowd. So you wanna make sure all of your characters, the ones that should stand out, do stand out. Next big thing here is believability. How believable is your character? Does it really make sense? Many of the things that add to the believability of your character are in its subtleties. Do the shoes look new? Does it look like the character has been through the things that it's been through? I don't know how well we could sell Forrest Gump if he had nice clean shoes in the beginning, knowing how much he runs. Many times the fur, the teeth, the claws, the fins, the various parts of the creature will tell you how the creature lives, how it eats, how it perhaps defends or attacks humanistic characters as well. Perhaps even more so, what kind of clothes does it wear? Things like this. So it's always a good practice to actually think about the backstory of the character, even if it's not in the story of the video game, the illustration or the movie or TV show. Actors do this all the time, creating all these little backstories of why their character is the way that they are. Well, as a character designer, we are virtually doing the same thing. Actors are also designing the characters. It's just that we do it visually. So what kind of personality should your character have knowing what it went through and things like that? How can you add it in visually? And this actually brings me to the next one here, which is story. Story is one of the biggest components to determine if a character is well designed. Because it's not just visual. A character design is everything, as well as the story of the character. Now, there is one last level of character design that is rarely reached, but I feel is the top, 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 top level of character design. And that can be expressed in a story of why Yoda is my favorite character design of all time. Since I naturally love creatures, Star Wars was, of course, one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid. Amazing spaceships, incredible creatures, and then you had lightsabers and Jedis. But there's one Jedi that rose above the rest by far, and that was Yoda. 
He's so wise, but yet doesn't take himself too seriously and is an incredible teacher and perhaps one of the most powerful Jedis to ever exist. I remember my dad turning to me in the middle of the movie and saying, Bobby, what's wrong? Why do you look so worried? Is everything okay? I turned to my dad and I said, Dad, what happens to us in the future? And my dad said, what do you mean? I said, how come there's no Chinese people in the future, dad? And my dad, with a big smile on his face, he turned to me without missing a beat. He said, Yoda, Yoda's Chinese, son. If you grow to 600 years old, you'll look just like Yoda. And with all the amazing wise things that Yoda says, philosophical things and how he conducts his life and everything, that changed my life. And I know it's changed many others, especially during that time of when Star Wars first came out. And so the highest, highest level of character design, I feel, is when it changes people, right? When you encounter somebody, whether fictional or real, and through that interaction and through that exposure of the person, it's changed your thinking. It's changed you as a person. Other films that come to mind, when I came out of The Matrix, I, I felt like I was on acid or something. I've never been on acid, but <laughs> it felt like I was on acid or something. Like, what's real? What's not? It really changed my thinking. Do you have any other movies that really changed you or characters that changed you? Put them in the comments. I'd love to know. Now, as this painting comes to a finish, I'm going to ask you to do something for me. And that is to subscribe to this channel so you can find this channel again easier. There's a ton of new content coming out that I think if you enjoyed this video, you're going to join these ones too. If you do want to know more about how to make your characters structurally sound, have a nice design, a clear design, believability, good story, or any other facet of art, check out schoolism.com.